This is the 5-Minute Youth Devotional Reading with Alex Sarria. May 26, Awumbuk. John 14:18 says, I will not abandon you as orphans. I will come to you. We are used to the five emotions of the film Inside Out. Joy, anger, sadness, disgust, and fear. However, the human being is much more complex. British historian Tiffany Wattsmith described 156 emotions in her book, The Book of Human Emotions. One of them is extremely interesting and is called Awumbuk. This word is typical of the Bening people, a tribe from Papua New Guinea. But we have all experienced the feeling. Imagine that you have prepared a party at home for family and friends. You have spent many hours cooking, cleaning, everything, receiving visitors, taking care of them, enjoying their funny remarks, showing them affection. Time passes and it's time for the farewell. One by one they leave between hugs and the longing to get together again and in the end you're left alone at home. The baning call void that remains in our soul, Awumbuk. They have known how to name it, but we have all lived it at some point in our lives. It has been many years since Jesus left this land and we miss him. We are overwhelmed with Awumbuk. Everything was so inspiring with his coming. I remember a very special feast. Jesus entering Jerusalem. In the words of Charles Spurgeon, Here comes the King of Kings, the Prince of the Kings of the Earth. No meddled steed, no prancing horse, which would keep at a distance the sons of poverty. He rides upon his donkey as he rides along, speaks kindly to the little children who are crying, Hosanna, and wishes well to the mothers and fathers of the lowest grade who crowd around him. He's approachable. He's not divided from them. He claims not to be their superior, but their servant. So little stately as a king, he was the servant of all. No trumpet sounds. He's content with the voice of men no comparisons upon his donkey, but his own disciples' garments. No pomp, but the pomp which loving hearts right willingly yielded to him. Thus on he rides, his kingdom of meekness, the kingdom of humiliation. Sermon 405. A really special party. He knows we miss him, and he has promised us that he will return. Meanwhile, we are with the Holy Spirit who, wake, who makes up for every emotion. He has stayed to comfort us and longs for us to invite him into our lives. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If this was helpful for you, please share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Always remember this, walking with God is the greatest thing you could ever do. You are his priority. Make him yours and you will always live out your purpose. God bless.